so good morning to all uh, let's uh, start uh, today's uh, discussion regarding factors affecting on a uh, supply curve so welcome back all of you for once again uh, let's start uh, today's discussion with the factors affecting on a uh, supply curve see listen carefully there are many factors are there which affects on the quantity of supply you all know that uh, the law of supply which stands as a law of supply it's a positive functional relationship between the price and the supply if price increases supply increases if a price falls supply falls but apart from that most of the other factors are there which affects uh, on the quantity supply in that we have already listed and we'll have a discussion by one by one let's have one by one first one among that that is technological progress second one is about input finance government taxes or unit taxes goals of the firm market conditions and structure okay then sixth one is about uh, weather condition and other factors may be known as stress in a factors so i hope you people uh, are able to see first point which i have already made a discussion then that is a lot technological progress you all know that if our technology our technological progress stands you are the techniques of production there are two techniques of production is are there first one is called labor intensive and uh, capital intensive the method the technology what we are adopting in the production process if that technology if it is advanced one then the cost of production of per unit and additional unit will get decrease then meantime the quantity of supply increase regarding of it which we have already made a discussion in the previous uh, class and let's go through with the second topic which affects on the quantity of supply then that is about uh, input uh, prices you all know that factors of production land labor capital and uh, organization the factor which are required the cost which are required to buy these factors are called input cost or input uh, prices like uh, rent wages interest profit so these are the elements which are required to buy the factors of production if whatever the available these costs which are in the market if they are lesser uh, if they are available at the less uh, rate of interest or lesser amount of uh, uh, at a free access then you can increase the quantity of uh, supply if these are available at the high cost then uh, your cost of production will increase then the quantity of supply decreases so let me tell you with a small example you all know that factors of production right land labor capital and uh, organization the way in which we buy these factors which are required to go for any of the production activity then that is called factor cost are input uh, cost and those input costs are known as input uh, prices like what we pay wages to the labor what we pay rent to the land likewise what we pay interest on capital what we pay profit on to the owners of the organization is whatever the labor available in the market whatever the land which is required in the market the rent and the wages and what we are paying to buy the factors of production if these costs are available at a lesser cost then we can have more amount of sales more amount of profit if a cost increases meantime when the labor cost and the rent and other cost increases the mean term of cost increases profit decreases when profit decreases quantity of supply decreases so whatever the prices which are available in the market input prices if they are available at a high cost you cannot expect more amount of sales due to cost increases supply decreases at the same time whatever the available at the outside the labor the wages rent 
if these are available at the lesser cost meantime you can increase a distance between the revenue and the cost by decreasing the cost by increasing the revenue you can increase the profit and meantime supply curve will take a right shift from the existing one now that is called the called input prices now coming on the next one government taxes or unit taxes you might have heard about that there are the different uh, tax system has been introduced in india and they have a revolutionary changes are right so on the excise duty offshore duty then gst now present okay value added tax n number of tax revolutions has been made now what are the amount of tax which has to be paid by each uh, producer to supply the commodity in the market the amount of uh, uh, charges uh, charged by the government is called tax and the charges which is charged by the government on selling of a commodity or for unit of commodity is called unit tax or simply we can call it as a sales tax or unit tax so whatever the charges charged by the government on the selling of commodity if that unit tax is lesser then firm can produce greater then supply curve will take a right shift if a per unit tax charged by the government on selling of a commodity by the different firms in the market if a tax increases on the price of a commodity then meantime only the cost increases the profit portion decreases and meantime supply curve will take a left shift so to understand this thing you need to understand graphically regarding how this government tax or unit taxes charges on the the point called a uh, quantity of supply let's take a picture here here to the point have a long run average cost okay and where to this point one cost will cut and rises and then this is called long run marginal cost okay and at the same time let's go through the the below here let's say same level long run average cost then long run marginal cost at this level okay let's take two elements here first one called p0 and here as p0 plus t here t stands tax when the commodity whatever which is ready to sold in the market at the q quantity of commodity and try to understand this thing if a price only is consists in the market with the less tax then supply curve will take right shift from the existing level where the quantity of supply increases it means the supply curve will take right shift okay where the quantity increases what if if the price whatever the price in the market for that price if there is addition of taxes are there then mean time supply curve will cut from the minimum instead of taking to the right it will take the left shift like this rs it may take the like this the quantity of supply when it has taken existing level to the left then only the cost increases but not the uh, the quantity of a uh, supply let's take any of automobiles or any of the products let's take your simple uh, example calculators calculators whatever it is there in your hand when you used to go by the n number of calculations it is made up of different uh, uh, made by countries okay made in china made in uh, japan philippines india like this if whatever the calculators which are available as a large one if it is available and uh, ready to be sold in the market with the cost of uh, 180 plus 20 as a margin then that the calculator available in the market for a uh, 200 rupee then 20 rupees is a margin of each calculator what the seller can going to get the profit okay for example he has produced for 180 and he fix 20 as margin he is ready to sold in the market okay for 200 then at that time 
the cost then in 20 some portion of tax will goes uh, to the government charges as a sales tax what if the sales tax percentage has been increased on the margin it will curtail the profit margin in the pocket of the suppliers so what if the 180 is that and the government has charged 15 rupee on the tax on the calculator that the 5 rupee will be the margin in the market then on the sale of a particular calculator then the seller will get enjoy with the only 5 rupees as profit previously used to get some uh, more than 15 rupees as a profit the logic is very simple when the taxes are increased on the commodity then supply cover will take left shift when the taxes has been reduced unit taxes has been reduced then supply curve will take the right uh, shift so here the quantity of supply is not decided by the price in the market where the price increases supply increases that is the law of supply but the condition is when the tax increases quantity of supply decreases when the tax decreases then quantity of supply increases it means simple always quantity of supply is not decided by the price here the quantity of supply is determined by decided by affected by the percentage of taxes charged by the government then that is called unit tax or government taxes are we clear are you able to understand this thing present to the point after the technological progress after the input prices after the government are in uh, unit taxes let's go through with the next one then that is called goals of the firm and try to understand every firm every company every operating activity have certain goals certain objectives to fulfill and if the goal of the firm whatever the goals they have set up, the mission of the firm to take any kind of a risk to increase the sales to increase the profit then that goal will stimulate them motivate them to increase the sales they'll do whatever the magic they do any of the strategy to reduce the cost and to increase the profit if the goals of the firm is not that much enough to take any kind of a risks then firm will not take the risk then meantime it will produce less they will earn less they are sold less so when the firm goal is strong enough to lead in the market if the goals are strongest then meantime actions also strong if a goals are weak then actions also weak so your actions are triggered by goals okay if the firm goal has a strong enough to lead it, to take any kind of a risk in the market whatever the climatic situation whatever the policies of the government then they will do almost all types of strategies and techniques to decrease the cost, to increase the sales, to increase the profit. Okay. If the goals of the firm are not enough, strong enough to take uh, any kind of a risk, then meantime firm will take lesser risk, lesser goods, lesser supply, then lesser profit. Likewise you people. Okay. If you people have a goal to attend almost all classes, online classes, to achieve the good mass, good percentage, good reputation in the few level. If your goals are strong enough, then you are ready to take any kind of a work, any kind of a risk at any level to see and to yourself in the board, in the holdings and boardings, to see your photos, to be the toppers and the rankers. If your goal is not to take any kind of a risk, neither on online class nor offline class, neither modes nor tests and all, then the results also will be a lesser level. Are we clear? So, in goals, then that is about market condition and structure. Market condition and structure. See, and try to understand the word market condition and structure. Market condition bolitanape simple. Is it market has with the n number of goods or few number of goods? Different type of goods or only homogeneous type of goods. And the market structure deals with single seller or many seller or few seller. Some markets in India are filled with only single seller. Some uh, uh, markets in India 
are filled with the few sellers and some are filled with the huge amount of sellers. Then there is called monopolistic competition. For example, like single seller, like RBI, which is known as a monopoly, right, of currency printing and publishing of currency notes. Then that is called monopoly market, where the single seller. If it is filled with the only few sellers, then that is called duopoly. And it is filled with only few sellers, like telecom sectors in India. Only few telecom uh, cell service providers are controlling the 130 crores of population in India. Likewise, monopolistic, like steel, like mobile phones and all, like furniture, which comes under monopolistic competitors, n number of sellers, n number of buyers. So, the market condition, the quantity of supply, is also decided by not only by price, also decided by the market condition, the number of sellers, number of type of goods which are available in the market. So, whatever the goods which are available in the market, if those goods are huge in quantity, then meantime that also decides the quantity of supply. At the same time, whatever the sellers which are available in the market, only single seller is there, then he is a king who controls complete market supply. So, what to sold, okay, at what price, when, how, you know, all these are double questions. But when many sellers are there, then many sellers will compete to each other. Then that also decides uh, when, what, and how the different types of goods are need to be produced. For example, assume there are uh, running rates, and in the running rates, assume there are only two persons are there, two athletes are there, and those two athletes will decide to complete uh, that uh, running rates. In the same running race, maybe some hundreds are there, then the competition will increase, right? Then the entire competition is controlled by not only the two athletes, are controlled by the hundred athletes. So you have a simple, always price will not decide the quantity of supply. Most of the times, the number of sellers who are existing in the market also decides the quantity of supply. If you stop your production, some seller will start a production, then he will supply the quantity of supply uh, of particular commodity, then the complete market supply is controlled by not you, with other sellers. Assuming that the entire market is created with only one seller, what if that one seller will stop the production? The same thing will happen, the entire thing will get shut down. Like uh, RBI, a few years before from now, there is a demonetization. All of a sudden the old currency has been cut down. Okay? Of 500,000 currencies. Are we clear? Or imagine that situation. At the same time, RBI is the only one agency in India which have a monopoly of right of issue of currency notes, which has a complete authority. What if the RBI has shut down the activity, the entire country will get a collapse. Likewise, whatever the things are there in the market is also decided by the number of uh, the sellers who decides the quantity of a supply, not only by price. So next one, whether a condition. You know that thing in India, there is a different uh, weather condition in there. Okay. Uh, not only about India.